Tough. I want to move you from number 10 to number 11 uh, just for a moment. Um, uh, and I, I, I said to um, Julian Jessup, who was on the programme uh, relatively recently, uh, it must be pandemonium, uh, not in number 11 because that's where the Chancellor lives, but, but in Her Majesty's Treasury uh, with, with the most likely candidate to win, talking about tearing up the Treasury orthodoxy and starting all over again. And yet she goes on telly this morning, does Liz Truss, and spells out in some precise detail exactly what she's going to do within the first week. In your experience, has the Treasury mapped out options for her, which we both know they do before a general election? You know, if Labour win, here's what you might want to do. And if the Tories stay in power, here's what you might like to do in the next phase. Is what she's talking about right now already been researched and tested by the Treasury? Uh, yes, I know that for a fact, actually. And what, what they're looking at is, at the moment, is the state of public finances, the fact that inflation has already eaten uh, quite a lot of um, the spending that's already been given to departments. So what departments in government, like you know the health that obviously runs the NHS, those departments have got a, a fixed amount of spending that is already eaten away. And Liz Trust wants to deliver tax cuts, so they've done a... a, a uh, you know, a, a map of what tax cuts you could probably do, realistic, then how much it would cost, and what the what the what is what's called distributional effects are. So who benefits, who loses? If it's business ones, it will be you know whether tax cuts actually promote growth or they're just a subsidy. Um, but I think what the big issue for the Treasury, what they'll have is come sort of mid September, coming into winter. We all know there's this big energy crisis, there's inflation going through the roof. Literally every public body and business group on the planet, and I think we're already seeing this actually, is going to start asking for handouts, subsidies, bailouts, all sorts of stuff, as, as well as, you know, a whole sort of liberal left commentariat screaming for more money for uh, people that don't have very much in the face of, of rising costs. So that is the big, big challenge for the Treasury. Um, and I, I, the only thing I'd say on that is that this trust can't um, allow public opinion and, and calls for public money to kind of dominate and determine her direction because you you can't ever win you'll 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 set you'll dole out some money and everyone will scream that it's not enough and everybody else because they've seen money being handed out will want some so you can't ever win in a political strategy doing that you have to prioritize yeah. deal with crises but not go too far 